I'll have a Big Mac, small fries and a serving of humiliation thanks. One evening, I was at my local McD's, waiting in line to satisfy my cravings for some real junk food. It was a rather busy night so the queues were longer than usual. I was standing about a foot and a half behind the person in front far enough to not invade their personal space but close enough that I was obviously in the queue. This was before COVID when social distancing was a thing. Some smug guy decided that the space in front of me had his name on it. So he squeezed himself into the gap, brushing up against both myself and the person in front. From his body language, I could almost hear himself think what a sucker personal space is for losers who want to wait longer for their meal. I have about as much respect for queue jumpers as those who fart in lifts or demand free stuff because they're social influenza's SP? So I started hatching my plan for petty revenge should I tap him on the shoulder and nicely ask him to move to the back? Berate him loudly to make everyone gawk at him? Put him in a rear naked choke and go all MMA on him? In the end, I decided that the best revenge was to do nothing. A few minutes later, he finally reached the front of the line and began dictating his order to the McDee's crew member. I'm sorry sir. This is the pickup line for those who have already ordered. You can place your order in that other queue over there. Never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake Napoleon Bonaparte. This reminds me of a time a guy the first knew in high school stole some CDs from a movie rental place. He got home and opened them up. They were all empty just there as marketing. CDs were behind the counter tears of joy. A small, but effective, dose of karma. Social influenzas. Your spelling error and autocorrect coined an awesome new phrase. They should henceforth be known as social influenzas. Perfect rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. It is awesome that he was in the wrong line. But, I like to start coughing and clearing my throat when they get inside my personal space. Missed opportunity here you can place your order in the far queue. Lol social influenzas. I'm stealing that. Alex and friends were ordering food at a drive through window but the car behind was very anxious to order and kept honking at them to hurry up. Honking and harassing as if it was going to make a carload of people in order take her go faster. It was lunchtime and lines were slow. After completing their order, they couldn't advance forward because there was traffic ahead of them. When they finally got to the window, they bought the food of the car behind them and with it, drove off quickly. The honker was left hungry, foodless and needed to get back into the long line. Social influenza's my new favorite term. Love the social influenza's rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing upside down face are truly a sickness on society. I just wish we had a vaccine against social influenza's. Social influenza's is correct. Social influenzas SP? This is correct. Social influenzas is now my go to term for influencers. Social influenzas. That's totally what we should call them now, tears of joy. I will forevermore call them social influenzas. Talk about karma. I was in line for some late night food after the St. Patrick's Day celebration in Savannah when Someone tried tried this. I commented that this was not Italy and pointed out where the line started. Turns out he was Italian on vacation. He did apologize embarrassed. Demand free stuff because their social influenza's perfect way to describe many of them. Social influenza's I will use this phrase forever rolling on the floor laughing. Social influenza nice. I like influences for influencers. 
It describes them perfectly. Social influenza's rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing this should become the official term for them love it. LMAO at influencers. Yours is way better LMAO. The title alone made me laugh. Sweet sweet revenge. Social influenza's perfect. Social influenza's SP? It's perfect. Social influenza I'm stealing that for sure. Nelson Muntz laugh. Personally I like social influenzas better than the more common social influencers. This is gold. But then later you found him in the parking lot and beat the shit out of him, right? Ding 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 we have a winner kudos to you. Tears of joy. I want to be you when I grow up. Cheers add definitely a social flu. OMG genius. My favorite part is calling influencers influenzas. That's what they are highly contagious to the idiots they influence. Irritating to be around. Snotty. Nausea inducing. Ha I love this. It's social influencer. But I really like the idea of calling such a person a social influenza they are very much a disease. I refuse to have a battle of wits with an unarmed man. LMAOO GIF emote free emotes pack joy. Now that's instant karma. Social influenza is my new stage name. Great reveal. Nothing wrong with farting in lifts. Better out than in. Till some McDonald's locations still use physical cues instead of numbers. Social influenzas is such a good misspelling I think you meant influencers. But I far prefer the phrase you coined. Well played. Mind the gap. Twist. Inconceivable. Win first fight second. Hilarious. Karma wins again. I would have sneezed on him. Hard going through life an asshole and an idiot. Like I said, it's all in the reflexes, honey. Jack Burton. Lol love it. Had to renew my driver's license immediately after having a tooth pulled. They checked me in and told me to go to the disabled line to save time. I was hurting so I got in the short line and the huffy security girl came up to me and told me to go to the regular line which was super long. I said, they told me to come here. She kind of got in my face. All snooty. So I opened my mouth to show her my mouthful of bloody gauze. That did the trick. I love social influenzas. Social influenza's R-O-T-F-L-M-A-O. Ha. Dumbass. I love it when this kind of person sets themselves up. Hell yes. Let your enemy destroy themselves and keep your hands clean. Although how could you know he wasn't just there to pick up as well? Sounds cool. Well written. Hilarious. But I doubt Op's actual facilitation of said negative response stimuli lol therefore I say this is more a case of insta karma that is being falsely claimed as petty revenge tears of joy. Social influenzas you, my dear, have won the internet for today not the asshole. Social influenzas sp? You spelled it better than correct I prefer your spelling and will use it from now on. Social influenza not the chosen word but much more descriptive. That's not revenge. You literally did nothing. By your own admission. Revenge implies some form of action. This is bullshit. Spectators can't claim to get revenge. So you did nothing? You have to line up for pickup? They don't just call out names orders when it's ready and you walk up? It's usually the people who do nothing that talk about how they never stand for that and all the ways that would get them back.